Prison reform is long overdue in Florida, and UNF is helping in the struggle. Students and teachers are working hard to bring awareness to this issue. Paula Horvath and her applied journalism class have dedicated their entire semester towards the issue of criminal justice reform. They attended a conference at FSU on the topic where they conducted in-depth interviews, focus groups, and podcasts with former inmates to get a better understanding of this problem. Deborah Brodsky organized this conference. She says the Florida prison system needs more attention. The United States is the world's largest jailer, and Florida's incarceration rate is almost a quarter above the national average. Do you have or do you know someone with, who's been impacted by the criminal justice system in Florida? Pretty much everybody has, and particularly in areas like substance abuse and mental health issues where the societal um, treatment of these things is, is to, to put people into prison and jail to exacerbate the problems is just a failed strategy, and people are really understanding that and recognizing it. Students at UNF are working hard to shed light on this problem by crafting a website with interviews and testimonials from former prisoners. Wesley LeBlanc and Will Weber are taking part in this effort. We're trying to build a multimedia project about um, prison reform. Before this class, I had no idea that prison really even needed reform. I just thought that they were they were bad places and people made mistakes. Um, we met with a lot of inmates today. We had a multifaceted convention going on. So you know, we had someone from the Coke uh, from the Coke Brothers Coalition, who's a classic classically Republican. Um, a, a Republican group. We had an ex-sheriff. We had liberals. We had Democrats. We had data analysis. You had everybody from every walk of life. This class has inspired Will to follow a career path in criminal justice. He's even considering becoming a criminal defense attorney. Um, and I think doing this project with Paula Horvath and with the class made me um, just even more determined to fight for these people who don't have a voice and fight for these people who end up losing parts of their life because they don't have the money or the means to represent themselves in court. While this remains a challenging issue, these students are determined to tell these inmates' stories. This is Joe Manuela at UNF, signing off.